Kerala is gasping for breath as the noxious smog from raging farm fires in neighboring states and unfavorable weather pushed pollution levels in the region towards the emergency zone for the third time in the last 15 days. So what's the cause of all of this? One, according to the government's air quality monitor, suffered, the share of stubble burning in Delhi's pollution is about 25%. Two, other causes of the pollution include vehicle exhaust, heavy industry waste, construction activities, combustion of various fuels for cooking, power generators, etc. And three, Indian Met Department has said that a dip in wind speed and temperature has also made the air cold and denser, leading to accumulation of pollutants. How bad is the air that we are breathing? Well, according to the Central Pollution Control Bureau, Delhi's overall air quality index is hovering around 450. Why is poor air quality unhealthy for you? Well, particulate matter found in the smog and air pollution has negative effects on human health and according to the World Health Organization, it is responsible for 7 million premature deaths worldwide each year. Now, tiny particulate matter, less than 2.5 microns in diameter, can actually enter deep into the lungs and even the bloodstream. So what is the government really doing about it? Well, the government has ordered closure of schools twice in the last two weeks. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has also said that odd even road scheme can be extended if needed. The Environment, Pollution, Prevention and Control Authority extended the restrictions on dirty fuel based industries in Delhi NCR, hot mix plants, and stone crushers till November 15. Despite a ban on stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana, farmers continue to defy it amid lack of financial incentives. State governments are also providing 50 to 80 percent subsidy to buy modern farm equipment, but farmers say use of machines increases the input cost manifold. A recent report by the Health Effects Institute highlighted that if no additional measures are taken to change the ongoing regular air pollution crisis, deaths from air pollution in India will rise from 1.1 million in 2015 to 1.7 million deaths annually in 2030 and 3.6 million deaths annually by 2050. India's Supreme Court has once again criticized the government for failing to prevent noxious conditions. Judges Ranjan Gogoi and S.A. Bobde have have said and I quote, little constructive efforts have been made by the government and other stakeholders to find solutions to the problem, unquote. The Indian government on the other hand has said that it intends to use hydrogen-based fuel technology to help combat the current pollution. The government will submit a full report on hydrogen fuel proposal to the Supreme Court by early December. Now, The current extreme air pollution being seen in Delhi NCR is part of a persistent global air pollution problem. It is getting increasingly imperative that governments across the globe take immediate coordinated measures to protect us our economies and our planet from the detrimental effects of this growing environment threat.